going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farms of News Lab. Today's Sid Monning updates us on the 2020 John Deere pack. A2 Square Studios making great progress on their zero turn mower. Matt 26 has a big update for his Case IH 2100 combine. Simulagri have another amazing trailer. Northeast Farm Group tees CR. VSR Modding show off their new semi truck. Dutch Modding is making great progress on their skid steer, and you can check it out. Meyer Family Modding works super fast. Kazarius Modding have some new Goodyear tires. Oxygen David is very close to announcing his next map. Puma has addressed some issues with their new map Ostrowicko. GB Monning has some liquid tanks that even I missed. CNH Monning shows off their new map sky. Plus, go check out the first look on Lawfolds. It was awesome. Let's check it out. Since this video is releasing on a Saturday, there is no update to the testing list, and there will likely be no mods today as well. By the time this video releases, I'll actually be DJing for the first time since March, so if anything pops up, I will review those things later in the day once I get off work. But with that being said, let's check out today's top stories. First up today, we have some updates from Sid Monning on their John Deere 2027 R, 8R, 8RT, and 8RX tractors. These were sent off to Giants for testing last week, however, they came back because of issues with compatibility on consoles. These issues have been fixed. With that, 20 positions of additional textures were removed, making the model work better on consoles as well as computers without such a high load on your GPU when using these tractors. Later yesterday, the update was sent back to Giants for testing. The testing list is at an 8-day wait as of yesterday as well, so could be about two weeks before we see these on the testing list, and another few days before release after that, assuming it passed the first time. It may take some time, but Sid is working very hard to get these tractors back out to everyone as soon as possible. A2 Square Studio wants to help everyone start their own lawn care business. We've got a truck, we've got tippers and goosenecks, but we're missing one important piece, a mower. The zero-turn mower that David is working on is progressing very well with the aptly named Mow It. This mod is still in development, so there's no release dates and never will be for any mods. In addition to the mower, he's working on a grass collection tank at the back so that the grass goes into the tank instead of onto the ground, making smaller projects nice and neat. I love that he's making this mod for all platforms. The first zero-turn mower to ever be made for all platforms that even I'm aware of. Thank you, David. Matt 26 has been busy this last week working hard on the update to their Case IH 2100, formerly named the 2188. This new update brings lots of changes, including several new wheels to choose from, a new version of the Harvester including 2144 and the 2166, in addition to the 2188 that we already have. Each combine will have a 26 kilometer max speed or around 16 miles per hour. Grain tanks will be available in 7,380 liters all the way up to 10,000 liter variants. Super cool. New sounds have been added to all the models. An animation switch from turnover with the engine starts when the combine turns on. Super cool. It sounds great. Land pipe configuration has been added. Holes in the landing pipes were cut out and snail added. The wires have been improved and throat extended so that the ladder could consist of the animations and rear hook configurations have been added, details have been corrected, and US and EU versions separated so you can choose whatever you want. Matt has also made a short video showing off customization and gameplay and new sounds of the Combine. That's going to be linked below, make sure you check that out. Yesterday we talked about the first trailer coming with the Roland FS19 pack by Simulagri. Well today we get a look at the other trailer coming in the pack. The Row Speed 8851 2020 model. This is a large capacity three axle dump with or without wrinkles. Trailer can hold between 36,000 liters and 51,000 liters, making it a huge capacity trailer. The aero height is hydraulically adjustable and is differentiated via the height of the sides. Simulagri is killing it again. This is a beautiful trailer. Speaking of killing it, Northeast Farm Group posted a few more teaser pics of their upcoming Challenger tractor mod. Here we get to see it carting for corn harvest on what I assume is the map that they're working on right now. Nothing else is said about this other than CR. VSR Modding dropped some in-store pics of their upcoming Renault Magnum semi-truck showing off two different wheel configurations that are available. Is it just me or is this truck beautiful? VSR has done an absolutely outstanding job putting this one together. It doesn't look like something that should be in Farming Simulator, more like ETS or something like that, but it's going to make an awesome addition to the lineup that we have on FS19 already and might even make its way to the top. 
I'm loving this mod. Dutch Modding Co. released a video yesterday showing modding work on their skid steer that they're currently making for all platforms. If this is something that you're interested in, make sure you drop by and show them some Goham fam love. They're working really hard to bring this out for everybody, and working hard not to only make PC traffic mods, but make mods for all platforms. Plus, it is very rare to see a modder making videos like this. David led the way, and others are joining, and I think it's so cool. You don't want to miss it. Meyer Family Modding have made quick work of their MFM 3-point gooseneck hitch over the past 24 hours, making three different versions with the mod already in-game. Still some work to do on the XML, but should be with testers in the next few days. Mods aren't always tractors and equipment. Sometimes we get tires, and this is exactly what Kazarius Modding is bringing us today. We get to see their new Goodyear DT710 V2 tires Oh, their Case IH 8900 Magnum, and they say there'll be more tires coming soon. Make sure you keep an eye out for them here on Farm Sim News, or check out Series Modding on Facebook. What are some other tires that you guys want to see? Oxygen David says to keep an eye out on his main Facebook page this weekend, as he will be making a big announcement regarding his new map. I'm making this video early on Saturday morning, so to stay up to date, jump over and check him out. I'll have that linked in the description below. Puma 145's new map, Ostrowitko, was recently released yesterday, and I really like the map, as many of you did as well. They've asked if you come across any problems with the map to let them know at the link below beside Puma 145. They have found a couple issues with teleporting to the main house not working. Some buildings were unable to be placed in some areas. They're unable to sell beets, potatoes, milk, and eggs and no teleportation to the icon at the store and field 14 was too steep. If you have any other issues, let them know. Speaking of issues with maps, for anyone struggling with the fuel silos at the farm on Six Ashes, there are two multi-liquid tankers in the store under animals that are included with the map. I had no idea. The GBM or GB Modding 8 and the GBM 32. However, other modded multi-liquid tanks will work as well, like Missy B's trailers. Those should work just fine. Just keep in mind, no base game trailers will work to refill these. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel, as I do have a couple new episodes of Six Ashes releasing not only today, but one tomorrow as well. We are taking over. CNH Modding posted a few more pics of their new American map work in progress. They say they haven't seen any terraces, so they've added some, and also updated the lighting and sky visuals for the map, with more to come. This map is based around a real area in the United States. What do you think? I'm absolutely in love with this map. And lastly today, another map that I am truly in love with, Lawfold's Abertinshire by CM Mods. I've already released an early first looking map tour of this map, which you can find linked below. The map is just as good as it was on 17, only better. To check out everything coming with this map, make sure you check that video out. And thank you so much to CM Mods for allowing me early access to show you what they have in store for all of us. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those other projects that you're interested in. And make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. With all being said, I hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace! decided to go with dramatic lighting today. What do you guys think?